actually on A Basement Affair. Frank, I want to know who put vodka in the damn water bottle. Mandy, do you know who did it? At this point, I just knew that this woman just, she just doesn't like me. Sorry, put it. liquor in my water bottle. Drunk bitch. You're a cool ass chick, but I really don't think you and I ever will have a love connection. But I'm like, did this just really happen? And it did, clearly. Hi, everyone. I don't need a man, I just want one. Renee is so annoying. I'm so happy you're here. Like, I can't stand her. She's talking herself into a hole. Tonight, it's time for one more to go. Jessica, you're an amazing girl, but I think that you have a lot of growing up to do. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm living with my parents in New York City I'm 31 and I'm broke, it ain't pretty I need a girl to set me free From my crazy family I gotta get up out of the basement I gotta get you into my heart I'm taking a chance to find a romance Out of the basement Into my heart Today was really stressful, but now I can finally relax. My mom and dad are upstairs sleeping, and I get to enjoy the rest of the night with 11 beautiful girls. Guess what? So I've been teaching her Minnesotan accent, and she's been teaching me her Vietnamese. Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. you betcha. You betcha. <laughs> After elimination, I'm thinking to myself, like, I need one-on-one -on -one time with Frank. I kind of feel like we haven't had a lot of time to talk and get to know each other. So I'm going to step my game up and get in there and really get a chance to talk to Frank and get a good connection going. What do you know about me? You seem like you're a girl that likes just, like, likes to get down to business. But I feel like... When the other girls like want my attention, you just like, okay, I'll let them let them go and I'll sit in the back. I just can't get a chance to get in there. So what am I supposed to do? Like cause a scene, spill some wine, break some pictures? Like no. I think maybe that's what you're, I have to no, do. No, you're a lady. Ladies don't do that. I want to put my best foot forward, but I'm not used to being in competition with other girls. Guys are usually fighting to get my attention. And if he wants a real woman like me, he's gonna have to step his game up. Frank, can I have like two minutes? Yeah, come on. Where do you want to go? I don't really know where I stand with Frank at this point, like friendship, you know, or romance. I'm more used to being friends with guys and then over long periods of time, it's turning into romance. But I just don't have that time here. I don't know if you want to hear this, but I think Tell you're kind of cute when you're chubby too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I hope not to get like that again. Well, I mean, if you do, I know that, don't. Would, be, that would be fine. Like it wouldn't, yeah, be, don't it wouldn't be the end of the world. You're a very sweet girl. You're very nice. I don't really know you because we haven't really spent much time. Like you know, like I've, I haven't kissed you. We haven't kissed yet. You know, I probably, I probably kissed. I think every other girl in the house. It's nice for a change to get to know a girl and get to know her before making any moves. Could because be a, you don't want to, or it just hasn't no. happened. It just hasn't happened. I haven't gotten a chance to kiss Frank. But I think Frank could definitely be my Prince Charming. <laughs> Hi, Renee. Sorry, here. Frank had told me that it's the little things that matter, and he likes constant reassurance in a relationship. So I wrote a note to Frank that I was thinking of him. So I get to read, like, this is Smell like it, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start weeding out the people that aren't for me. Yeah, they will tell you, so don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> people run their mouths. My jaw hit the floor. Renee is really shady. She's listening to what every girl says. She's just gonna report to Frank. I'm going to try my best to get her out of the house. I'm listening every second I have been from the beginning. When I had my date with Frank, he asked me to be his eyes and ears. This is what I want. This is what I want. I want you to start keeping your ears open. You just talk to the other girls and just yeah. find, a little, find a little scoop out on them. If I find out that someone is not here for Frank, I will tell him. Ladies, 
you're gonna be part of this family, you can't be afraid of a little hard work. <laughs> I love some shirts on the kitchen table. The colors are your teams. Put them on and meet me out in front in one hour. <laughs> love you. I'm really happy about this. I'm so excited because I got pink because I look the best in pink. But then I found out that Renee got pink with me and I was not so happy about being the pink team anymore. <laughs> oh my god. I will die laughing. I'm debating whether or not to throw the challenge because I can't stand to see that girl alone with Frank again. And um, I just have to think about whether or not it's worth me losing to make Renee feel like today. Hey ladies, it's time for the challenge. Everybody come outside and meet me in front of the house. Hurry up. Green, go green. I don't know. I walk outside and I see a bunch of like junk in front of the house. And I'm like, what is going on? Welcome to the Maresca Family Garage Sale Challenge. <laughs> you should have shaved because you look dirty. Today, you get to earn your keep by working the Maresca Family Garage Sale. This challenge is simple. As you see, we have our treasures here that we had to move out of the house to let you ladies move in. So what we need you to do is we need you to sell our treasures and whatever team makes the most money will win that special date with me tonight. And make sure that you don't underprice this stuff because we did spend a lot of money for what looks like junk right now. You know, I see myself with a girl that's not afraid to work hard. So today I want to see what girl is going to work the hardest to win my affection. Plus it would really be nice to make some extra money getting rid of some of this junk that's in my parents' attic. All right, ladies, what we're going to do is we're going to divide all the items up between the teams and we'll get this thing started. Selling is my strong point. It's what I do for a living. So I'm thinking I have this in the bag. I'm going to do this, even if Kathy is my only teammate. Here's how it's going to work. When I say go, one member from each team is going to run up to the pile of stuff, grab one item, run back to your table. Once you get back to your table, the other person on your team can then run and grab another item until all the stuff is gone. And if you break anything, ladies, you still have to try to sell it. Got it? Yeah! All right, on your marks, get set, go! Sell! Go, Carrie, go, 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 go! go, go. I'm excited, because I just had like a junk sale right before I came here. So we're gonna win that date tonight. I'm trying to get items that are really pretty that I think people will want to buy. Oh I was running, but my eyes and my mind was like, what, what am I going to get? What am I going to get? I don't know what I was going to get. Tammy, I don't understand what she's doing at all. It was so peculiar, like, very weird. Come on, Kath! Let me see anything. Woo! I don't really want Renee getting another date. So I'm just focusing on what kind of stuff won't sell. And I'm thinking ceramics. Go, go, go! Good job. Good job, girl! Come on, Kath. Awesome! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That was pink team. I'll bring it over to you. Oops. Renee's ass is losing. Good luck selling that. Oh, jeez. I don't feel like Kathy is trying hard enough. So I am trying my damnedest to get the best things in the sale. Careful. I'm a very competitive person. And when I want something, I go and get it. This was all on me. You okay? Oh my god, are you okay? Coming up. This is craziness right now. What the hell? This isn't a massage parlor. I don't want girls like you in my family. And later. Now I hear from some of the girls, you weren't here for me. Wow, where is this coming from? Don't you understand, mm -hmm. like, what they're going to do? They're, like, out to get me now, and I know it. So the garage sale just started. 
When we're running the relay and we're all picking items, I see Renee grab a TV. She's so clueless. I mean, people want flat screens now, not an old TV. She grabs my TV, which, by the way, is worth a lot of money. No. And she runs with it and she falls. This is to make money. All right. Girls, don't kill yourself. Relax. She, like, hobbles over like cuts all over her body and I'm just thinking, oh my God, this girl's on crack. <laughs> sell, sell, sell. What do you think for the chair? I'd say I'd go 50 and then we'll go down. Get some good money for that hockey stick. My son Sal used to play hockey while Frankie was playing hooky. Oh. We're doing like a little mini garage sale. Italiano. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I like spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> the garage sale challenge is a lot harder than I thought. Uno. Mm, I'll do two. Uh, no posso. Two dollars. Oh, okay, one dollar. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you need like a good strategy because the people that come by want to bargain like too low, and then you won't make enough money. It's priced at five. What were you thinking? What do you think is a reasonable price? How about three? Okay, three is great. Thank you. you. Two singles. Five dollars for the bicycle. Seven. Seven. Six. Come on. Going back. Look, once no, it goes in, it don't come out anymore. Six dollars. Six dollars. Fine. Fine. Have any of these girls ever had a garage sale before? They better start bargaining higher because my mom and dad are not going to be happy if they're just giving their stuff away. It is sturdy. It is a lot of fun. You need to go on vacation. You need to treat yourself. You I'll work you both so of these for hard. That. Like that screams Phil all the way. Oh my gosh, Renee is the worst salesperson ever. It's a nice TV. Funciona. Yeah. Like um, it's yeah. a beautiful TV. Funciona. Um, oh jeez. She tried to impress Frank by grabbing the TV, and now it's broken and worthless. Good job, Renee. It's a great TV. Can I turn it on? Uh-huh. I can't turn it on because um, I don't have a plug. <laughs> At this point, I don't even think I have to try that hard to throw the challenge. She's so pathetic. I've never seen one of these in stores. <laughs> How much do you charge? I will do half price. I usually charge around 25. How about dinner time? Dinner time? Somebody buy our stuff, or at least give me money to win the day, please. I have an idea. That was um, ten dollars. Kisses, ten dollars. Give me the marker. We are making signs that say "kisses for ten dollars," but we are not giving the kisses. We are just bringing men in with the offer of kisses. Kisses. Hey, Tim. Welcome. I think I like this booth. All right, let's see. And we also do massages as well, so would you like to take a seat? I'm like, oh, great idea. Five dollars for five minutes. Each minute charges. Nothing's for free. Only in America. Uh. Massages? What a great idea. So they're giving massages over there. So we have to get in on that. When I look over and see Tammy and Felicia's team giving guys massages, I'm just like, what the hell is that about? They shouldn't even want to give Anyone else a massage besides Frank? Huh? Five dollars for two. <gasps> I guess we can do massages too. I could do portraits if we had paper. Good, we do have paper. We do. My idea is to sit down with people for just a few minutes and make them a little portrait of themselves just to sell them for one dollar each. She's gonna draw a picture of us. Mm -hmm. Just a little quick one. Portraits, oh my god. So this is absolutely ridiculous. Blue team's drawing portraits. Yellow team is giving massages. And we're sitting here, and this isn't fair. We're the only team that's actually trying to sell this stuff. It's so beautiful. Nice. She's gonna love that. But it's only two dollars. You're not gonna find oh, a better if deal. If you bubble wrap it, I'll take it for fifty cents. Would you like to lean back? Sure. Okay. Give me that. Oh, that feels great. Thank you. I come out on my balcony. I look down, and I see Felicia giving a massage to a guy. What the hell is going on here? This is craziness right now. What the hell is this, a massage parlor? This is supposed to be a reputable garage sale, not you girls massaging everybody. I guess she didn't want these girls give these other guys stiffies while they were giving them massages. I don't want girls like you and my family if you're going to be giving massages to strange men for money. This isn't a massage parlor. Massages are over. Coming up.
This is turkey noodle. Yeah. All these Italian food, it's the same taste. I want to go noodle. I just really could never picture Tammy being with Frank. Anybody want more to eat? And later. I like women that are aggressive, but I'm not sure if this woman's aggressive enough for me. I'm really hoping that she's gonna come out of her shell and fight for my affections. I'm just not sure how we're connected. No, 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 no. This isn't a massage parlor. Mrs. Morosco comes over and gets extremely mad about the massages. It's so awkward. I kind of just stop and let the guy go on his way. Don't know what to do. I don't want girls like you in my family if you're going to be giving massages to strange men for money. God only knows what she was massaging. That's not nice. I mean, really? You want the police to come and shut this down? Massages are over. I mean, I come outside to see how the girls are doing, and they're massaging guys in my chair that we're trying to sell. I think this would be a good time to end the garage sale. All right, ladies. The garage sale has officially come to an end. Stop everything that you're doing and close your cash boxes now. And bring them to me, please. I'm a little nervous because there was massages going on and artwork, and I really hope our bargaining and hard work is gonna pay off today. I got pink and I got yellow. Pink, yellow. Now before we can announce the winner, my parents and I have to tally up the boxes. Wow, looks like the yellow team did pretty damn good. Don't count too close, you gotta mix up the money. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Quiet, so confuse him. Shut up. I gave you guys one box to count each. I counted two already. I got $142. In profit. Now there's a lot of cash here. Whoever knew that they could make so much money sell the junk in my attic? Well, I'll tell you one thing. You girls really impressed me with this garage sale, and you've actually made tons of money. I'm shocked. Hey. Are you ready, girls? Third runner-up with a total of $62 in sales was the pink team. Yay. My plan was pretty much to sabotage Renee, and it worked out. Second runner-up with a total of $80.75 in sales was the green team. Okay. This is not fair. We're the only team that we're actually trying to sell Maruska's junk. So it's down to blue against yellow. I am so confident that we're going to win this challenge because we work our butt off. We hustle. The winner by a landslide with $141 was Annie's art studio. <laughs> I wasn't too sure about Annie being on my team in the beginning, but she took the initiative to start drawing, making a lot of great portraits for everybody. Jenny, Data, and Anne, we're all going on a date tonight. And listen, great job, everybody. the rest of you has got a consolation prize. You're gonna be eating dinner with us. Oh, joy. Getting ready for the date now. I want to look very sexy for my first date with Frank. You look so, so cute, girl. So cute. So Annie's going out on a date with Frank tonight. And I think Annie's eyebrow, it need work. Annie, what's up? I am gonna do a makeover on you. Winning or losing, doesn't matter. It's just a game. And I do love Annie. I want her to look good on her date. She deserves it. Hey, you guys have tweezers? I have no idea what my shoes are. I think Annie is a sweetheart. She's so beautiful inside and out. But I mean, I'm a makeup artist, and I just really want to do something cute and nice for Annie. I'm gonna like make you into a playmate. You know, I think some people would be offended by that, but I wasn't. I think we turn Annie into a beautiful swan who is just a duck, not ugly duckling. But just a duck. All right, ladies, whoever's coming on the date with me. Wow, Annie, you look beautiful. It was something I would never have done to myself or like even expect to do, but um, I just felt like a different woman. Very, very nice. Yeah. Who did that for you? Tammy and Christy did it together. Really? Good yeah. job, ladies. She looks very lovely. Annie, she never ceases to amaze me. She looks really nice. Hello. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hello. Annie, Dana, and Jenny had a really long day working at the garage sale. 
So I want to take them someplace so that they could unwind and we can have a really nice time. Have fun having dinner with my parents. So for our date, he took us to a pool hall and it was so fun, you know. It's nice to do something that's not so serious, where you could just let your hair down and be yourself. So anybody ever played pool before? I've played pool yeah. before. I'm not good at it. No? no. I'm, good. I'm pretty good. You're pretty good? I never have. Never you have. have to never teach me. I'm gonna have to teach you. Oh my god. Well that really wasn't supposed to happen. Oops, I was way off on that one. You're up. Okay, let's see if I can remember. Okay. Okay. I would hold put your hand back more on this one. This one you want to look. And I hold it like that. But this. you want to be oh. as far back as possible. How far does your arm go? You want to hit it like right here. Right here. You want to hit that and have it go all the way down there. Frank is really not giving me too much attention during the pool game. He's helping Annie out. You could really get that 15 if you hit this 15. I feel like I'm a great catch. And yes, I'm here competing for Frank, but he has to know that he has to compete for me too. Now you're gonna crouch down a little lower. There you go. Good shot, yeah you did. Girls, it's time to eat. Okay, who's gonna say grace today? Obviously, I'd rather be with Frank, but I'm looking forward to dinner with the Marescas because they do give me a little piece of what I'm missing at home. This is turkey meat, yeah, the other one's beef. Oh my God. All these Italian food, it's so heavy and it's the same taste. I miss my Vietnamese food. Anybody want more to eat? I'll take some more meatloaf. <laughs> I like that <laughs> meatloaf. <laughs> I just really could never picture Tammy being with Frank. I just don't think that they have a lot in common. She's a cup of noodles and he's spaghetti and meatballs, you know? It just doesn't go together. Is everybody finished with your food? Because we have coffee cake. All right, ladies, right now what I would like to do is I like to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each and every one of you individually. Right now, I'm gonna take Jenny first. Okay. I'm happy that I'm finally getting alone time with Frank because I haven't got a chance to spend any one-on-one -on -one time with him. Ooh, these are pretty. Would you like anything? I want you, I want you to pick some flowers out. I want you to pick them out. You want me to pick them yeah. out? All right, let's see. When Frank buys me a dozen red roses, I'm really happy, but I'm not surprised because what guy wouldn't want to buy me flowers? Is there anything you, like, you want to know about me? I just feel like you're different. I'm a very big on affection, yeah. very big on romance, absolutely, you know? I'm affectionate too, but I feel like I don't have to like hug you or kiss you every time I leave you. I don't know, to me, I think, I think it's cheesy. Like, oh, okay, I'm going upstairs, I'm leaving the room, let me give you a kiss goodbye. I want my kisses to like mean something. Okay, true. <laughs> but if you want me to remember them, they would be almost every five seconds. Yeah? You remember my kisses. I'm sure Jenny's used to guys chasing after her, but I got 10 other girls here that are fighting for my affection. Jenny may be more work than what she's actually worth. Hey, Frankie, baby. So Jenny walks back in after her long time with Frank with roses, and I'm like, where are my roses, Frank? Are you ready for me? Can you come? I know I totally need to get my alone time and just totally take over. I arranged for some pastries over here so we can have a little dessert. Oh, hey. How good is that so look, cute. Right? Let me feed you. So. <laughs> you shake it out? I am! Hurry up. I'm a little bit more shy than the other girls, so, you know, it's good that we're having this time so you could get to know me on a different level. I know, I just want to tell you, like, I know I may come off, like, a little bit shyer than the other girls. Like, I'm not drunk. I'm not, like, wasted, like, prank. I'm like, oh, party. Yeah. That's a plus. I just want to let you know if I come off shy, it's not like me not caring. No, I know. But I'm not I'm, that shy. I don't no, think I'm too shy. I know, but I think about, like, when I go to sleep, I'm like, who spent more time with me today? Who came over to me today? Yeah. I say your name, and I can't come up with any, I really can't come up with much. So Danny tells me that she's a really shy girl, and somehow that just doesn't fit right with me because she doesn't dress shy. So as much as I like her, I'm really hoping that she's gonna come out of her shell and fight for my affections. Let's get back with the other girls. Last but not least, Annie. If it wasn't for her, her team would have never won. She used her brain and she used her creativity. That's a winner. But if it wasn't for you, that team stood no, no chance. No. And you didn't have to do it through massaging or trying to trying to flirt. That's not. I want to. Like I wanted to do it in a way that I could give people something meaningful. It feels nice to get a huge compliment from Frank. 
I'm like, I, I really, I want you to like draw me. I want you to. I will. Like, I really like. I want to. I, I want to see it. I would it. rather like if I had like either charcoal or like paint. Annie's incredible. She's very talented. She's very sweet, very kind, very caring. But you really did a good job on your hair. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Yeah, it's so soft. And she looks amazing tonight. I'm such a story. Yeah. I'm such a story. Oh, relax. It's okay. <laughs> the kiss that me and Frank shared was great. I definitely think Frank likes me. <laughs> Come on, let's go back in, sweetie. You know, I'm really disappointed that my walk is coming to an end with Annie. I like her a lot. Coming up. Tell me more about yourself. I like to do embarrassing stuff, make a face on XST. I don't understand. It's not going that well for Tammy. And later. These rooms are disgusting. Take off your heels and clean up. I'm not a maid. I'm not a cleaning lady. What is that? Hair. Ugh, gross. I'm going to be back out in an hour. You see what I mean? They use the kitchen, and they don't clean up. And I'm not cleaning it. I'm that if roaches start coming out here. How many times are you gonna say the same thing? I told them last night, but they just don't listen. These girls are such slobs. Nice girls, but slobs. Every time I go down in the morning, I have to clean the whole kitchen. You know what? I'm not a maid. I'm not a cleaning lady. <laughs> girls, I hate to be mean, and I know we're a lot of people here, but these rooms are disgusting. There's clothes all over the bedrooms, on the floors. The bathrooms have toilet paper on the floor. There's crap every place you look. It looks like I have a rug made of hair in the hallway. It's disgusting. You want to sit on the bed with no, us? No, I want the room cleaned. Take off your heels and clean up. My god, one room is worse than the other. That looks like a dead rat. What is that? Hair? Ugh. It's like, ugh, gross. This bathroom is disgusting. There isn't much. Oh, man, that's gross. Looks like an ice cream cone. I want to throw up when I look at it. Ooh, goo. Ooh. I'm kind of like pissed off because I came on the show to meet Frank and get to know him, not to clean up after the other girls. Last night, Tammy and Christy did something really nice for Annie. They made her look beautiful. They gave her a nice makeover. So today, I want to do something nice for them. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Good. Good. Well, right now, I would like to ask Tammy and Christy to come join me. I want to take a little walk and get to know you girls a little bit better. Finally, finally, I'm getting a date with Frank. I hope to, like, get more chemistry. Just not attraction-wise, but more of communication-wise. Would you ladies like a cupcake? Yes. We're coming to Little Cupcake. Oh, yay. Hello. I like your shape, though. Yeah? Oh, you look good in blue. Oh, really? Makes you look tan. You know, I really wanted to do something romantic for the girls. So Tammy, Christy, and I, we go on our day to the Cupcake Factory to get to know them better. So listen, you're a beautiful girl. I look at you and I'm like, wow, I'm like, I could so see myself, like, you know, possibly with somebody like this. Tammy, man, she is hot. You are so attractive. Like, I mean, I just like, you know, on ecstasy. I just want you to feel the same way. I'll admit, English definitely wasn't my best subject but I'm not really sure what Tammy's trying to say. Tell me more about yourself, though. What kind of stuff do you do for fun? Like For fun? I like to go out, travel, eat restaurants. I like to do embarrassing stuff, make a face, you know? Like, what do you mean, embarrassing stuff? I don't understand. Tammy can't even understand her half the time. I don't know if she's speaking English. I don't know what she's saying, but I have to have a conversation with a woman. I can't just, can't just be physical. I'm looking for compatibility as far as our minds, 
just like, you know, looks can only go so far. You're a great looking girl. You're a beautiful, beautiful girl who will never have a problem finding a man. It's a little awkward sitting between Tammy and Frank during the cupcake date just because I can tell it's not going that well for Tammy. She's so cute, but it, it was hard to watch. I like you. I like you too. But we still need to get to know each other a little better. Um, and, and that's all. Just so, I mean, do you want to know kind of like something that happened yesterday in the house? Of course. Okay. I yeah. want to know everything that happened. Okay, in the I'll house. tell you because I feel like a lot of girls aren't telling you everything. No, and that's fine. And, and I'm you're... not a telltale, no, but, but I think you're right yeah, to but... know. I want him to know who's here for him and what's going on in the house with some of the other girls. There's one girl that everyone kind of um, talks about. Who are we talking about? It's Renee. Everyone in the house is just always on edge around Renee. She told me how she's always listening. Like, I call her like a camera in the house. Like, she's like, you know, if one of these girls says something out, like I'm telling Frank. I can't believe Renee's going around and telling everybody that she's gonna be my eyes and ears. What kind of spy is that? Whatever happens in the house, like yeah. I said, I, I wanna know. And, okay. and whatever we say, that's it. It doesn't yeah. leave this table. Okay, good. So. Thank you. What Chrissy told me is really disturbing. I had a really nice date with both of you ladies. I got to know a little bit more about each and every one of you, which that was my goal and goal accomplished. I need to talk to Renee and get to the bottom of this now. Best cupcake place in New York. Well, Where is everybody? It smells good in here. After what Chrissy told me today about Renee, I need to find her and I need to get to the bottom of this. Hey, Renee. Hey, how are you? Let's have a talk. Okay, sounds good to me. So Frank pulls me aside and tells me he has to talk to me about something, and I'm just so excited and happy, and I know the girls won't be. <laughs> look at this. You really got bruised. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I don't know. No, it was fine. There is something I want to address. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, last time we were talking, I said I wanted you to be my eyes and ears. But I thought that that was something that was between you and I. And now I hear from some of the girls that you go around and you tell them whatever anybody does, I'm going to run and I'm going to go tell Frank. Not and like, like that, no. Frank decides to confront Renee. And I'm like, yes, yes, finally. I don't and want anybody in this house that isn't here for you. I know, I don't, but you don't broadcast that. Yet. I'm just happy. I'm just like a really happy person right now. Because <laughs> now there really could be girls that aren't here for me. And I'll never know because no one's gonna to wanna to talk in front of you. It's like, wow, where is this coming from? I really am taken back by this whole thing. If he feels as though he can't trust me, that's not the case at all. I'm probably the most trustworthy person in this entire house. Don't you understand <clears throat> like what they're trying to do right now? They're like out to get me now and I know it. Of course the girls are out to get Renee, but none of this drama is gonna help me figure out who's really here for me. I'm sorry. Okay. From the bottom of my heart, I didn't mean it like that. Like, I really didn't. Okay. And I'm still listening. Okay. Maybe Renee means well, but ultimately, it's my feelings that are at stake. So I gotta figure out who is here for me and who is not. Too much garlic. I don't care for it. Can't scare away Frank, All right, ladies. Real fast. Get ready, there's another elimination tonight. Oh, and get it. <laughs> my heart is in my throat. I don't want to be sent home tonight. There's so much more to me that I want Frank to see. It's still nerve wracking going to the eliminations because I never know what Frank's thinking. I'm hoping that Frank will send Renee home because she's not the right girl for Frank. Coming up. When a woman lays her heart on the line for me, I love it. I really want to be here. I know we have so much sexual chemistry. When am I going to see the bad girl part? Not when mommy's around. That's for sure. To prevent myself from a heart attack, I really hope Frank chooses me more in like the first to fifth key. Second to last every time is getting a little old. For the first time, I am really scared because during my one-on-one -on -one time with Frank, he felt a little betrayed, but I know where my heart is, and I will do everything in my power to repair the damage that was caused. After the date I had with Frank last night, I'm feeling good about going into elimination. 
Frank really likes me, he's attracted to me, and I wouldn't be surprised if I got caught down first. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. These illuminations are getting harder and harder. As always, right beside me are the keys to my basement. If you do not receive a key to my basement, it means you will be leaving tonight. This girl continues to surprise me every single day. My date with her was nothing short of awesome. Annie, please step forward. I could have picked somebody hotter. Annie, will you please accept the key to my basement? Getting the first key is a huge compliment, and it feels great. This woman's coming right out of her shell, I feel. Carrie, will you accept this key to my basement? Always. <laughs> Melody, please step forward. It feels great to get a key from Frank. I have his trust, and he's gaining my trust, and it's nice. Christy. Will you accept the key to my basement? Yes. I'm so happy, and I can finally breathe and not wait till the end to almost pass out. I like women that are aggressive, but I'm not sure if this woman's aggressive enough for me. And I definitely want to find out. Melissa, please step forward. Will you accept this key to my of basement? Course. I get my key tonight, and I need to just put forth all my effort and win a challenge so I get that one-on-one -on -one time. When a woman lays her heart on the line for me and opens up to me, I love it. Alicia, step forward, sweetie. Will you please accept this key to my basement? Absolutely. My heart is pounding. I'm just waiting for this key. I'm like, come on, just pick me. I am a good person with good intentions, and all these girls are trying to find things that aren't really there. This girl's eyes and smiles made me melt. Dana, please step forward. Will you please accept this key to my basement? Definitely, baby, of course. Seeing him put the key around her neck, and I'm just thinking, oh my God, are we serious right now? Well, you know they call me the entertainer, and this girl definitely can entertain me. Kathy, please step forward. <sighs> Thank goodness. That was a little long to wait for a key, but at least I have it around my neck now. Well, there are three of you left and only two keys remain. I really hope Frank will give me a second chance. I know we have so much sexual chemistry, and I know we can have that mental connection, too. I like a woman with a wild side, and I also like a good girl. Now, I've seen the good girl part, but when am I gonna see the bad girl part? Not when mommy's around. That's for sure. <laughs> I am very surprised when Frank decides to keep Renee, especially after I told him how she's very shady. Will you accept this key to my basement? Of course I will. I'm so relieved to finally get my key, and I wish that I got it somewhere in the middle, but at least I got my key and I'm still here. There are two of you left, and there's only one key to my basement. Making this decision is really, really tough. You got Tammy, and I really don't even understand what she's saying half the time. And then you got Jenny, she's crazy beautiful, but I'm just not feeling the love. There are two of you left, and there's only one key to my basement. Is 
down to the last girl and I still haven't gotten a key. I mean, I thought we had a perfect date. I'm so confused right now. I hope those flowers weren't a goodbye flowers because I really want to be here. Standing in line and waiting for my key is nerve wracking. I mean, I see it. There's a connection between us. It's my most nervous time ever. Tammy, you're a beautiful woman. I'm just not sure how we're connecting. Jenny, some things are worth waiting for. And I'm not sure enough if I'm really patient enough to wait for you. I feel like I'm in the same predicament with Tammy and Jenny. Jenny's really, really beautiful, but I feel like she's just keeping her distance from me. Tammy, she opens herself up to me a little bit, but I don't understand what she's saying. Jenny, I just want you to know that I'm not gonna wait forever. Please step forward. When I would look at Frank, you know, while he was standing up there, it's like he wouldn't even look at me in my eyes, so I guess maybe he just thinks I'm going too slow. Jenny, we accept this key to the basement? Yes. <laughs> Tammy. I would love to be your friend, but I'm sorry. I have to ask you to leave my parents' house tonight. So leaving Frank behind, I'm really sad because it ended this way without communication. There's no relationship, but going home, I'm excited to move on with my life. Let's make a toast. You know, it's really hard to believe that there's only 10 girls left in my parents' house. But you know what? That's a good thing, because now I can get to finally spend more time with these ladies and get to know each and every one of them. All right, this is to falling in love and moving out of the basement. Yeah! Next time on Basement Affair. Welcome, ladies, to the first annual bikini softball game. This is my game. Like, I've played oh! softball for years. I like this game already. You're a cheater. I'm just having a hard time right now. I'm starting to really just get sick of this whole thing. I'm like an idiot. You're under a lot of pressure. I'm just making an ass out of myself right now. Don't even worry about it. Be the girl that you are. I really don't think you're here for me. I took it upon my own self to do a little bit of digging. You fed me a good line. These girls got to his head about me and are spreading lies. If there's anything any ladies have to tell me, please tell me before I ever find out. Boy, you fooled me.